This is Daily Armenia, Civilnet's daily news digest. Here's what you need to know today. 30 people in Armenia's northeastern Davos region protesting against the imminent handover of four abandoned border villages to Azerbaijan were briefly detained today, according to the country's interior ministry. The demonstrators from the village of Kirans, a flashpoint where border delimitation is expected to bring Azerbaijani border guards right to the community's edge, were attempting to prevent further demining and border delimitation work in the area. Garnik Danielian, an opposition lawmaker on the scene, wrote on Facebook today, police forces closed the entrances to the village, a large number of police officers poured into the village, and the village men obstructing the demining operations were brutally detained. The interior ministry denied that force was used, and the protesters were released after only a few hours, by which time the police had already closed the road leading to the village, citing security reasons. According to the ministry, demining is being carried out around Kirans in order to determine the Armenian-Azerbaijani border based on GPS measurements by teams from both countries, as were carried out last week around the nearby village of Voskepar. When asked in an interview with public television yesterday about possible guarantees that Azerbaijan will not continue to demand more land after the delimitation process concludes, Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan said, the guarantee is the legitimacy of our positions based on the agreements already reached. As long as the border is not delimited, there may be reason for conflict, he continued. This is why we start delimitation from places with the greatest potential for conflict, to keep the situation manageable. Pashinyan also emphasized that Armenia cannot rely on anyone but itself for security, as experience has shown countries with security obligations to Armenia have repeatedly failed to fulfill them. Earlier this month, Armenia formally launched a long-delayed process to delimit or legally define a section of its border with Azerbaijan for the first time, sparking these ongoing protests across the country. That process is expected to involve Yerevan handing over to Baku four abandoned villages along the border between Armenia's northeastern Tavus region and Azerbaijan's northwestern Gazakh district. Former Yerevan mayor Haik Marutyan formally took up a new position yesterday as head of an upstart political party called Nor Uj, meaning new force in Armenian, with an eye towards running for prime minister in Armenia's next parliamentary elections, scheduled for 2026. Nikol Pashinyan's government has nothing to do anymore and must leave, Marutyan told the party's founding Congress. He criticized the current government for losing its legitimacy by failing to protect the people of Nagorno-Karabakh and warned Azerbaijan Azerbaijan will continue to make new demands of Armenia, which he says the government is not capable of handling. Marutyan was elected Yerevan mayor as part of Pashinyan's civil contract party in 2018. After the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh war, Marutyan's relations with Pashinyan soured, and city council voted to remove him as mayor in 2021. He was elected again to city council last year, this time as an opposition member, but was removed again by civil contract in February. After that, he pledged to form his own party to contest the next nationwide elections. Marutyan, a well-known former comedic actor, has broad name recognition in Armenia, and observers say he could be a formidable opponent to Pashinyan in the next election. The ongoing border delimitation and resulting protests is both an extremely important issue and an incredibly complicated one. We break it down for you in this explainer about why the border is being marked and what brought things to this point. Find a link to the article in the video description. And finally, the civil net number of the day is 11. That's the number of centimeters Lake Sevan rose over the month of April, according to Armenia's state-run Hydrometeorology and Monitoring Center, which attributed the rise to increased water transfers through aqueducts and rivers that empty into the lake. However, that number is still four centimeters lower compared to the level a year ago. For years, environmentalists in Armenia have raised concerns over Sevan's low water levels, which contribute to water quality degradation. And as always, please follow CivilNet for the latest news and independent reporting from our contributors on the ground here in Armenia.